Hello, I'm Lisa Voss. I am the Director of Sales and Special Events at the Kauffman Center. Welcome to Future Stages Festival. My job is to do a lot of fun special events at the center, so I am so grateful to be a part of this Future Stages Festival with you. Today, I have two assistants with me helping. Kaylee Voss, who is a junior at St. Pius High School, and Alyssa Voss, who is a sixth grader at St. James School. We are looking forward today to making ginormous bubbles with you. For our ingredients today, we have Dawn Ultra Dish Soap. Our recipe calls specifically for the Ultra Soap, so if you use something else, just know that that might change your recipe just a bit. We also have cornstarch, baking powder, gar gum, which is used a lot in gluten-free baking, so you can find this at your local grocery store or online, rubbing alcohol, glycerin. Glycerin is something that can be changed in some recipes. If you wanted to use corn syrup instead, that's another option. And lastly, we have 12 cups of very hot water. For our homemade bubble wands, we have wooden dowels, or if you don't have these specific dowels at home, you can always use just any long stick. And then we have this cotton rope. Cotton rope is important because that helps absorb the solution better so that you can get that very, very best bubble. Lastly, we have a washer, which will be placed as a weight on one of your ropes to help create that big bubble. Okay, now let's make our bubble solution. So we're gonna grab a very large container and we're gonna mix all ingredients in here except for the water. So starting out, we'll have a cup of the Dawn Ultra dish soap. A fourth a cup of the cornstarch. One tablespoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of the gar gum. One teaspoon of the rubbing alcohol. one teaspoon of our glycerin. Okay, so we'll stir this so we can make sure all of the powder is fully incorporated. Now when you're preparing your water, you're gonna wanna get your tap water going as hot as possible and ask for some help because it will be hot so that you can start adding the hot water to the solution. You're gonna to wanna to add it two cups at a time. So let's see how Alyssa's got this mixture going. What do you think? Got our powder fully incorporated? Awesome. So Kaylee's gonna add two cups of water and Alyssa's gonna to continue to stir. She's stirring it so that it gets mixed, but we're gonna to try to not overmix it so that we create big bubbles. Those big bubbles are coming later. So we'll keep adding two cups of water at a time until we get all of our 12 cups in the mixture. Okay, now let's do a quick look at our bubble solution at what the final product should look like. We've got all ingredients mixed together with the hot water and it looks ready to go. Now to make our bubble wands. 
So we've got our two pieces of wood uh, all ready to go and we've cut two pieces of rope. One piece here, we've got about five feet of length for this first one. And then the second one is about three feet of length. That's a pretty good length for both small and tall people. We also have washers to serve as weights. So we're using multiple here because we didn't have any super heavy ones at home. So if you have maybe some little nuts and bolts hanging around the house, you can also use those to help create this weight for the rope. So to start, we're gonna take our longer piece and we're gonna tie one end to one end of the wand. We'll get it as tight as we can. And then we'll go ahead and add our weights. And again, Kaylee's using three, so she's making sure it fits real nice here. And we tie our other end in the same spot on the other stick. We had these dowels from another project that we did and we had picked them up at the craft store at one point in time. So if you're looking to actually get this specific type of stick and uh, look, you can go to any craft store. Okay, perfect. And then we take our smaller piece and we attach that on one side. There's also a lot of um, how-to videos online that show you using little screwed in hooks or other things that you can attach the ropes to. So you're, you're definitely able to look at different ways of fixing the rope to these pieces of wood. We didn't have any of those at home, so we're making do with just tying them as tight as we can. Awesome. Kaylee's gonna show us her finished wand, which has the longer piece in the middle with the weights and the shorter piece there. And that allows for, again, like smaller people to not have to expand the wand too far. Now we head outside for the real fun. That's it. We hope you guys had fun. We sure did. Do not forget to check out the rest of our demos and performances on the website, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.